Hi guys, it's Shell Sunbury Housewives, and today I am making a crate using these craft sticks from Walmart and these mouse traps. So what you're gonna need is two mouse traps. Four comes in a package at the Dollar Tree, and you just take them apart. And I use five of the giant craft sticks from Walmart. So I'm it's easy to take apart. I just use my pliers and then I sanded them down and I used wood filler to fill the holes. It's not necessary, but I did. And then um, it takes no time for them to dry. So once I filled those, um, I just set those aside to let them quickly dry. And then I cut down my popsicle sticks. Um, you can make them however long you want. Um, I didn't even measure, actually, I just pretty much cut off the ends. So, um, like I said, I used five. I cut more than I needed, but I really wasn't sure how much I needed. So I go back and I sand down the um, wood filler, well, the mousetrap wood, and these are going to be my end pieces. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they were perfect for the end. So I just used hot glue because these are super light. And I just attached it to the bottom. I used three on the bottom and then attached those with just very little spaces in between. And one fits in the middle there. And here's where I just cut the popsicle stick or the craft stick down the middle using my X-Acto knife. It's fairly easy. I just went over it a couple times and then it split right down the middle. And I use these on the side. I put one at the top and then one um, closer to the bottom, but left a gap. Okay, so now I painted this in the Waverly chalk paint in plaster. And then I did go over it, distressing it with the Waverly chalk paint in elephant. Now I'm about to show you how I'm potentially gonna use it in my home. 
Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you think outside the box when you go to the Dollar Tree. Bye, guys.